A very good morning to you and welcome to Morning Prayer from the Benefit of Canton on Bank Holiday Monday, the 30th of August 2021. Let's pray together. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 126 When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then it was said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we rejoiced. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the watercourses in the Negeb. May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, carrying their sheaves. Amen. Be with us, O God of consolation when we are made weary by this world. Turn our sorrow into joy, and give us lips to sing your praise, and lives to proclaim your victory in Jesus Christ, our crucified and risen Lord. Amen. The reading from Mark chapter 8, verses 11 to 21. The Pharisees came and began to argue with him, asking for a sign from heaven to test him. And he sighed deeply in his spirit and said, Why does this generation ask for a sign? Truly, I tell you, no sign will be given to this generation. And he left them, and getting into the boat again, he went across to the other side. Now, the disciples had forgotten to bring any bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. And he cautioned them, saying, Watch out. Beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and the yeast of Herod. They said to one another, It is because we have no bread. And becoming aware of it, Jesus said to them, Why are you talking about having no bread? Do you still not perceive or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and fail to see, ears and fail to hear? And do you not remember? When I broke the five loaves for the five thousand, how many baskets full of broken pieces did you collect? They said to him, Twelve. And the seven for the four thousand, how many baskets full of broken pieces did you collect? And they said to him, Seven. Then he said to them, Do you not yet understand? Here ends the lesson. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Let us pray. For the unity of the Church in witness and proclamation of the Gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the peace and stability of all peoples, and for the leaders of all nations, remembering particularly at this time, the people of Afghanistan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For places of work, education and leisure, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a blessing on our homes, for our relations and friends, and all whom we love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering and all who minister to their needs. Today, Lord, we remember particularly Brenda, Fides, Elizabeth, John, Gareth, Arletta, Jill, the Holder family, Lucy, Lorna and Geoffrey, Anita, Catherine and Peter, Miebi. Audrey, 
Margaret, Robert and Sandra. In a moment of stillness, we bring before God those who we know who need to feel his loving presence at this time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in communion with all your saints, entrusting to one another and all our life to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Eternal God and Father, you create and redeem us by the power of your love. Guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves in love and service to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, let nothing disturb us, nothing surprise us, Everything passes, God does not change. Patience alone wears out all things. Whosoever holds fast to God shall want for nothing. God is sufficient. Amen. We pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a great day, everyone. I hope you enjoy your bank holiday.